About 2015, we decided that there was a time that we had to decide what we wanted to do perpetuation-wise. Um, I'd known Mark Levitt for probably 15, 16 years going up to that point. And even with that being said, our perpetuation was, you know, am I going to buy my father out? Or are we going to sell out? Or, or, you know, where do we want to go? And we looked at several avenues. You know, the, me buying him out was probably going to be too tough from a tax situation. Um, the other side of it was selling out to Hub means that I am truly an employer of another company. And when I'm an employer of that company, and I, we talked to them and they gave us the playbook and said this is how we run things, this is what we do, and bottom line, I, you know, I don't do playbooks well and I'm not going to go down that road. So when we decided to, to start talking with the Levitt Group, that was really where things you know, started going forward in a good way. Um, we knew that if we if we merged with them, that they were they were going to be able to purchase my father's stock. I was able to roll my stock over into to the new corporation, which is Kaiser Millennium Levitt, and we merged with two of the other Levitt offices in our in our region. So, you know, we went from being about a three and a half million dollar shop to a little over a seven million dollar revenue shop. And with that. Um, you know, it really is true that you do have the resources of the national firms now, um, both from IT help all the way to the companies that you represent, and then also, you know, with, with really the, your agency partners who help you, you know, get a hold on the agency. We've grown, um, you know, having the accounting taking off of you and a lot of the operations taking away. You know, what they do is they handle it, you're still involved, you still have those decision making as a co-owner. So, you know, at the end of the day, it was a wonderful, a wonderful process for us. Um, you know, I've been asked, I don't know how many times, by clients, friends, family, um, even my father at 87, um, you know, that you ask either one of us again, do you think it was a good deal? And we were up and said, yes. And they said, would you do it again? And we say, yeah, we would do it again. We wouldn't change what we've done. So it's been a great time. And, you know, hopefully um, anybody else that's looking for it and looking for a way to perpetuate or looking to have national resources at a local level, uh, that would be the place to go.